Yeah, you read the title right. Your boy's officially out of the game. I'm over. It's done. 2023 is a wrap for me. I'm not doing it anymore. Welcome to the channel. My name is Sean Walla, also known as Sean Walla. Check out the uh, Instagram channel, Strictly Free Game. Yeah, it's over. It's a wrap. 2023 is my last year in real estate. But don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. This is what I was saying to myself maybe six, seven, eight months ago. Listen, I was getting burnt out, man. Your boy was getting burnt out. I mean, listen, I was doing a podcast by myself. I was still keeping up with business at a high level. Family was going crazy. Had a new baby. Trying to get acclimated with that. And your boy just got burned out. I didn't want to do it anymore. I lost the passion for it. I lost the love for it. I was like, you know what? I'm coasting. I'm sitting back, chilling. Not worried about it anymore. So six months went by. January, February, always six months through. Took my foot off the gas. And I was like, you know what? Nah, this is not going to work for me. It's not going to work for me. I had to remind myself, why did I start doing this? I started doing this for a reason. One, because I had no plan B. There was never a plan B for me. I knew plan, my plan A was this. I never wanted to go back to a nine to five, sit behind someone's desk, being told what to do. It just wasn't my, wasn't my thing. It wasn't my vibe. Wasn't doing it anymore. Real estate has been great to me. It has taken me to a new level in my career. It's taken me to a new level in life. My family is good. I'm able to pay my bills. My phone is ringing. And that's when I have to remind myself, bro, you, pay, you prayed for days like this. You prayed when you, were, when you could be so busy that you, didn't, you couldn't even remember to eat during the day. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I remember 10 years ago, which seems like a long time ago, but in hindsight, it was just yesterday. I was at a job that I hated, didn't want to do it anymore. Got tired of people telling me what to do, and I didn't basically listen to them anyway. Sean always just did his own thing. And I said to myself, I want to be a successful entrepreneur no matter where it takes me, and real estate was that vessel to get to that. So I was being selfish the beginning of this year. I started feeling myself a little bit. I got too used to being busy to the point that I said it was burning me out. Which, listen, don't get me wrong. We all need some time off from the, the, the noise and we really need to focus again. So I needed that focus. I was building a team out at the same time, bringing brand new agents, like literally new to the business over in a crazy market, trying to get them put into position to, to realize that, you know, this could be a life-changing career path and just going through the motions, right? Trying to get the, trying to get the podcast going. To a point that I was really doing a podcast. I was interviewing um, a lot of people. It started to become a real estate podcast, which I never wanted it to be from the beginning. Anyway, Strictly Free Game was designed to strictly give game in all aspects of life. And that's what this is. This is just game. So if you are thinking about hanging it up, no matter what your career path is, remember what you're doing this for. This is all bigger than you. My kids depend on me doing what I'm doing right now. You know how great it feels for my daughter to see me on YouTube? Because she thinks, listen, that's all she watches YouTube now. So when she goes on the YouTube channel, she sees daddy. She's like, that's my dad. That's what it's all about. Don't focus too much on the small goals. Focus on the larger goal. Make sure you are putting pen to paper. Every, every day you should be doing it. If you don't do it every day, do it every week, do it every month. To plan out those, those goals, man. Make sure you have everything laid out. Put it down. This way you can always remember what your, what, your, what your focus is. And I noticed I had this problem. This is my problem. I always figure out an exit strategy before anything even happens. When I started this, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this for X amount of years and I'm out of it because, especially when it comes to real estate, you see a lot of older agents that have been doing this for 30, 40 years. They're in their 50s, 60s, some 70s. And I always said to myself, like, I can't be that agent. I can't be that agent that's just dependent on real estate, that's worried about the market month to month, year to year. And every time the market shifts, I panic a little bit and I never wanted to be that agent, which is why I decided to do this. I didn't have to be that agent when I did this because now I'm not fishing for business. Business is kind of coming to me, which again, these are the days that I pray for. So when I'm saying that I'm too busy, that the noise is getting too much for me, I'm just reflecting on where I was a few years ago. And I'm taking, now bring, bring the noise my way. Focus is back. I'm here. I'm not doing this alone anymore. That was another big thing. I was doing everything by myself. 
I felt like I had to be the janitor, the CEO, the cook. I felt like it just had to be everything. And I really had to focus and say, you know what? Let, let people into your world, let them help you out. That, that's the way to get the, to the bigger goal is to bring people with you. It's lonely at the top. You cannot do this all alone or you will get yourself burnt out. So again, my exit strategy, I had to stop doing that. I don't know if I'm the only person that does that. I'm like, you know what? I need to get out of this while I start. And then that's the worst thing you can do because you're always thinking that when is it going to end? When is it going to end? Enjoy the journey. Do not, do not, do not overthink it. Apply and let it fly. That's the way I'm looking at it these days. So thank you for um, coming to the channel. Unfortunately, the title is misleading because your boy isn't retiring yet. And, um, Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in this for the long haul, man. I'm in this for the long haul. Because listen, there's also a lot of people that reach out to me that's dependent on me. A lot of younger agents that are out there that hit me up on DMs all the time. It's like, yo, bro, you're encouraging me to keep going. Especially a lot of minority agents. Well, again, I had, I had a podcast about this not too long ago. It's tough. It's tough being a minority agent in this industry. There's a lot of discrimination. There's a lot of other things. But we can't use that as an excuse. We have to keep going. We, ha we have to keep learning at a high level. If you want to be successful, you have to learn at a high level. Don't just go on the gram, scroll it all day. Make sure you are investing in, invest in podcasts, like things like this. If you really want to have your business grow, do things like this. Put yourself out there because you want to attract people that's going to automatically come to you. You want to be like a magnet in a sense. Bring the people to your world. That's my biggest goal. To bring, I want to be the rainmaker, man. Bring everybody to me. That way I have a team and I could divvy it out to everybody else. That's way, that way we all eat. Again, it's lonely at the top. I don't want to sit at that table by myself. I need some, I need people around me so we can talk and we can kick it. We can, we can get it in. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. That's it. So the, the title is misleading because your boy ain't going away no time soon. I quit for six months and now I'm back. Foot completely on the gas and everything's been rolling the way it's been, the way it's been going. So. If you ever need anyone to talk to, your boy's here. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, DM me anytime, hit me up on the gram. My number is 718-840-8094. If you want to hit me up, text me, just to kick it. Again, we are in this for a different reason. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you are putting your goals down to paper and just keep going. Keep going. Remember, you are doing this to elevate. Sean, Sean Waller, also known as Sean Waller on IG. Follow me. We out.